So yeah, let's uh, check out some Hell's Other Demons. The arcade mode is basically like just like your standard like high score chasing rogue. Like I just oh actually I just unlocked the wizard. I didn't have this character before. Um, I was gonna say I just unlocked the tank, um, but this is kind of your starting character. And yeah, basically you're just shooting for a high score. Um, you run around. You actually you have like 360 degree aiming, but it's like. It's actually just controlled with the single stick. Um, and then you have a double jump. You might even have a triple jump. No, just a double jump. But then you can, like, Mario, uh, Super Mario World cape style. Oops. Like, coast down if you hold down the jump button. You can also land on enemies. I'm playing like an asshole here. Um, and then when you're not shooting, you suck in the gems. Uh, which is, you know, standard shmup mechanics. So we're keeping the shmup theme going. And then you can uh, also keep yourself a little more airborne by... Uh, um, firing downwards um but yeah i really like this game there's like a campaign that's a little more campaigny <laughs> i guess but it's still kind of the same uh sort of levels like you know you're just clearing your arenas and waves of enemies and stuff um oh i just got a new weapon obviously this uh char this one takes a little while to charge um but again i can also still jump on enemies as well oh keep forgetting to use my ultimate oh i can't hold more than one it's just like a, yeah, some kind of cannon. Shit. Ah! Yeah, sometimes I like just keeping the main weapon. Um, shitty score there. But yeah, I got a little bit of a higher score earlier. One, oh, I thought I got a little higher than that. Maybe it didn't save my leaderboard score. Maybe there's separate leaderboards for each uh, character. I don't think so, though. But yeah, on the uh, podcast I gave every year, we uh, do like a year-end wrap-up where we each pick uh, three of our favorite games and um, that we played. Not necessarily of, like, not game of the year style, but more like just game that we played that year. Um, and I had to give, I had to cheat a little and give one of my slots to just Punk Cake in general. Oh, I, I kind of love this Melee Claw. Um, yeah, it was just like their games were just, I was so sucked into those all year. Oh, we got the slow-mo bow. Oh, just a couple more gems left to level up. This bow is a little tougher to use, but... Because um, you really have to um, finesse it. But you really can hold down this slow-mo for almost as long as you want. Um, but it takes a little while to reload. Yeah, I, I kind of prefer just the regular, like, rapid-fire weapons. Let's go. Give me some health. Although, I don't know. Playing a little better here. Sniped. Coheed style. Okay, they're pretty generous with that hitbox on that uh, ultimate charge. Oh, to total waste. Oh, weapon change. Back to the machine gun. Oh, boss time. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Totally like a uh, box, or uh, are you thinking a super crate box maybe from uh, Vlambeer? RP, is that the game you're thinking of? Um, if not, I definitely need to know what this other game is. But yeah, it's definitely got that same style gameplay. Yeah, no, don't <laughs> don't apologize. I was half like I was like, am I remembering the name of the game right? Attract gems from further away. Okay, I'm not stomping that much. Ultra Halo, uh, Chain Lightning, jumps between enemies damage with each jump uh let's try this but yeah i love super crate box i love this zone i really love the palette of this area um and yeah i really love this electric gun that like shocks these enemies and actually i do kind of utilize the stomping more in this area because there's some different enemy types these things in particular that like to uh, blast me up. Oh shit! Oh, sniped. Oh man. Build up a gem multiplier. No. Nope. Can't read fast enough. 
This game is so good, though. I really love the pixel art. And again, like, the the bullets really, like, carry you with some momentum. Oh, I, for I totally forgot you have a dash button. <laughs> that would help. Let's see, this is some kind of, like, laser sword. It's kind of, the only thing that sucks is it's kind of hard. I guess that's kind of the risk reward is it's like, okay, if you want the health, you got to get the fucking uh, new weapon. I'll take the shotgun. Getting this now looks so sick. <laughs> Heck yeah. I picked it up, I know, I think pretty I think it's only like ten bucks on Switch, but I picked it up. Oh, a triple jump? You know I'm getting that. Um But I think I picked it up on sale for super cheap at some point. Like I it was one of those games that, like I had on my wish list forever, and then it was like, oh, t like three dollars? How can I not buy this game? Um, is it so every now and then there's like stuff that seems weird. Like there are times where when I'm playing, I'm like, are my bullets not firing? Or, uh, like for a second there, it looked like some of my bullets were like suspended in midair. But okay, maybe that's just what's happening. They were just like maybe stuck on an enemy or something. But yeah, see how like the shotgun like really launches me downward? Well, you called it, RP. You're like, hey, I'm, I'm in the mood for some uh, Switch Arcade games. <laughs> and now you're like, oh, I'm buying this one. Um, yeah, this game is, is really cool. I really I keep forgetting that you can jump on enemies and that you can dash. Really not utilizing any of those enough. Fuck, there's some health. There we go. Give me some jammies. There we go. Really like the music, too. <laughs> this stream really paid off, yeah. Oh, battery chart. Oh, longer dash, which I'm never using. Longer invincibility. Wave gun. Does it just give it me? Give it to me right now? Or does it? Yep, looks like it just gives me right now. It's interesting too, because yeah, I, th I, don't, I think I started saying this off the top, but it looks like it would be like the type of game that would play like a twin stick shooter, but it does not at all. You actually, you're just your movement and your aiming are tied to the same. Uh, left stick, um, which is kind of interesting. At first, it's, it takes a little getting used to, and there are times where you're like, oh, I wish there was at least, at the very least, I wish there was, like, a button that I could, like, freeze frame. Yeah, like, you know how, like, in, uh, Super Metroid or something, you can kind of, uh, uh, like, stand still and, like, fire up at a diagonal and stuff. Like, I wish there was, like, a button for that, because otherwise I feel like I have to be moving at all times. But, otherwise... You're kind of moving at all times anyways, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. Tired of Tomb of the Mask by now. I need to get that one. Uh, I still haven't picked it up yet, but I added it to my wish list on Switch. Um, it was on my list of games I wanted to play for a long time. I it was like, I, can't remember, I think I just saw it on like a, on the mobile store or something. It's like, man, this game looks cool. I wish it wasn't on a, wish it wasn't a mobile game, even though I'm sure it plays fine mobily. Um, dang, man, I really liked that uh, wave gun. This thing's fine, I guess, but I guess they just really make you play on the fly. You gotta watch out for these buzz saws. What? Okay, back to regular machine gun. This is definitely my new high score. And, like, I'm not even... Unless you, like... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my good lord. What is happening? New high score. 57 on the leaderboard, baby. Let's go. Let's try a new character, though. Um... But yeah, there's also Lava Climb is more like a platforming focused uh, part of the game. I also like how whatever like part you just played, like it... Let's try the wizard. I haven't played this character yet. But again, it, it almost like doesn't matter that much because... Um, oh, let's see. I'm about to unlock... Oh, I'm a ways off from the next character. Way a ways off. Let's try the whiz kid. But like you pick up another weapon so quick, so it's really just that like one one or two other extra buffs. Ooh, but I like this uh speaking of robes, the name of that uh the former name of that new game coming out from this dev. Um really liking this robe or tunic or whatever. And then yeah, I got these like 
surrounding orbs, which is, I'm assuming, the wizard's uh, starting buff or whatever. And the reload speed on this is shit. As it should be. I mean, it's obviously powerful as hell. And again, we got this, like, kind of rocking, pumping, like, synthwave soundtrack, but it's still kind of chill. But I like how there's, like, just enough variety in the um, levels in the arcade mode. Like, again, so that, like, that that's where, like, I was saying, like, I like how a lot of the Psycho games, like, have different uh, starting stages or randomizes the starting stage. But obviously you can combat that as well by having procedural generation so you're not just, like, playing the same, uh, even if the aesthetic is mostly the same. There we go. Okay, so sometimes they give you health without the... Uh, it being tied directly to a weapon. I'm always a sucker for the arcade mode in these kind of games. The campaign mode is cool, but definitely I'm all about the campaign. Or, uh, <laughs> all about the arcade mode. There we go. Dash longer, which I'm still not doing. Move faster. I'll take that all day. How much faster? Quite a bit. I really love weapons that, like, you hit one enemy and it just chains to all the other ones. Hmm. I was assuming I couldn't jump on those. Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't really like the Wiz. Um, not feeling the Wiz. So let's try... I was digging the tank earlier, because I think you start each stage with, like, a shield or something. And the shotgun. Well, I'll use my shield instantaneously. Yeah, but that's like, this is like an instance where it's like, okay, yeah, it would, it would be a little nice to have like, oh, grenade launcher. The ability to like lock yourself in a position and uh, aim where you're shooting. But I'd also be, this game would be way too frantic for me if it was a twin stick shooter. So I'm so bad at playing twin stick uh, platformers. Fuck. Like any game that makes me use the shoulder button to jump. Forget about it. Jump higher. I'm off to a bad start, so I don't necessarily want to get that health upgrade. Although, maybe it would have given me full health. Oh, that jump is massive. Definitely need a new gun. How about a new gun? Get the hell out of here. Wasn't I 57 on the leaderboard a minute ago? A monster from the X-Files. Oh, I need to finish watching that show. It's, I mean, it's been ages since I watched it last, but um, I never finished. I never made it all the way through that series, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I was actually more... I know a lot of people like the more Monster of the Week episodes. I was actually a bigger fan of, like, the the Mulder sister <laughs> mystery stuff. Like, I was always way more into it when they did, like, a main storyline episode. Um but I feel like it's totally different when you're just, like, binging them as opposed to when you're watching it, like, week to week uh, back in the era of it being on TV. Um, oh, give me those gems. The bodies just keep piling up. Let's see. Locks increase multiplier. That'll work for me. A little bullet grease. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me the bow. The weapon that I was complaining about earlier? Give it to me. Oh, does it? Oh, no. I don't know if that's for sure. But it kind of seems like the enemies, like, turn red if they're going to be killed by the arrow. No, I think it's just a pallet thing. 
I was like, that's sick if it, like, indicates that's who's gonna get hit. There we go. Sniped. Give me the... Ah, shit. New weapon. Uh, I'll take a double-sided flamethrower. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Like, right there, I just used my special, and it seemed like it just got blocked. Maybe I hit the... Maybe I hit that platform. But otherwise, it seems like you can kind of fire through platforms. Still forgetting to dash like crazy. Just bounce on these clowns. Bounce on them. Let's go, punks. I'm just keeping this. This is too good to be true. Oh, well. Picked up that weapon on accident. Fuck. Get it! Ultra. that. Oh, I beat him. At one point, you had the box set. Great, great show, though. You were on the Monster of the Week side. Yeah, I, I didn't get far enough. Like I said, I never finished it, but uh, it always felt like, okay, now the show's like getting some focus again. But I think it's just some of the Monster of the Weeks are really good, and some of them are really cheesy. Or it's just like, I, I didn't watch them at the time, so like watching them now, it's like, ooh, these aged a little bit. A uh, little bit cheesily, like when they like are you know doing like internet tech ones and stuff like that. Edges of the screen are connected. Ultimate charge. I never really do that anything with that. Let's get the Halo. Yeah, that that's like a box set that I feel like would definitely be worth owning. Just like hey, I want to maybe like plow through that whole series. Like right there, I just shot and nothing came out of my gun, but I still killed the enemy. Like, I just feel like there's like a few weird little bugs here and there in this game. Um, I got nothing that really affects the action too much, but I've noticed it enough times where I'm like, I'm not crazy. Like, nothing came out of my gun there, and I, but I still killed that enemy. Oh, got the wave beam again. Yes. Oh, as, as I die. Or at least come pretty damn close. Oh, let's go some help. Oh yeah, I gotta utilize my hover, uh, flutter Mario cape jump. Say hello to a new high score, baby! Oh no! Blast ya. I can't tell if my score is just based on the gems I'm collecting or what. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's go. Give me that health, bitch. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go level up. Max HP. Oh. I mean, I'm so low, though. That could be good. Let's go. Oh, new zone, new palette. I love this. Oh, I love this pallet. Let's charge up that ultimate. Oh, let's get some health. Crossbow! Good eye, sniper! <laughs> Coheed! Coming in handy. Let's go. Ripping things up here now. Oh, shit. Boss boy. Not even a boss that time. Man, they really let you hold on to that slow-mo as long as you want, almost. Oh, I'm way... Oh, okay, health. I was like, I'm way closer to dead than I want to be. I still am, but... There you go. Gems. Let's go. 3,000. Definitely my best run. know what these things do. I 
I really like how you gotta, like, almost kite these enemies when you have the uh, bow and arrow. Oh! Wasn't ready for that. God, this music! Holy fuck. Give me the health. Oh no! I thought it was over. Out of the way. Oh no. Get out of there. <sighs> Shit. No! Fuck! 41 though, let's go. Yeah, I'm very into that pallet right here. I'm very into that run right there. Top 50, baby. Obviously, this isn't like the most popular game on earth, but. <laughs> Bucket Chicken? <coughs> I love that name. <coughs> All right. Let's try a couple more runs here at least. Yeah, climbing the ladder indeed. Sad to see the pallet go. Hopefully we can return. I'm going to try to play with a little more tact here. I'm always just like running around like a fucking madman. strategy plan. Oh, I didn't realize those like uh, little squares at the top show you like what wave you're on. I don't know how I didn't notice that, but... Oh! Wave gun. I really like the mechanic, too, of like how it sucks in the bullets when you're not uh, firing. Or, not the bullets, but the, uh, the gems. I gotta utilize this flutter. I keep saying it all the time, but I gotta utilize it more. I don't know what that is, but I like my wave gun. I gotta learn what these weapons are a little better, too, by, like, recognizing them at face value. What is that? Is that a weapon? Yeah, it's a fucking stupid bomb thing. God damn it. Oh, hey, claw time. Nice. Just when I was about to be pissed. Okay, max HP. That seems like a no-brainer. Although that shockwave... Oh, damn. I racked up some points on that uh, early run. Yeah, the Wolverine claws are awesome. Plus, it's like you, you insta-grab the uh, gems for the most part. Yeah, Tank is my fucking character, man. Let's go. There's a few instances that it isn't the best, but... Like certain enemies that it's tough to wrangle, but... I think this is my character. Already at 2300. Boot spikes, stop more violently. More frequent charge drops. Hmm. Increases multiplier. Hmm. I'm, in, uh, I'm into this. Nice hanging. Yeah, thanks for uh, <laughs> seeing me in the top 10. Sounds good. Thanks for stopping by, RP. Always good to hang. Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, you know, especially with everything going on. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying some relaxing time. Hopefully we got some better days on the horizons here. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping in. And I'll catch you in the Discord. Shit.
Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, health. Yeah, thanks, RP. You too. Holy shit. That's what I call lucking out. Boom, give me that health. Perfect timing. Level up. Max HP plus three, that seems no brainer. Yep, no choice in the matter there. And we're back to pallet land. Right there, yeah, see, my gun wasn't shooting anything there. I swear there's like, there's some kind of weird visual glitch every now and then. I'm not crazy. Okay, get it, whatever it is. Shit. Can't tell if these explosions hurt me or not. I don't think they do, but I could be wrong. New high score, I think. Give me that health. And a new weapon. Shit. Oh, low battery on the controller. Perfect timing for that. Shit. There we go, there we go. Ultimate. Perfect timing. <laughs> oh, oh my good lord. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh, I thought I was going to maybe crack the top 30 there. Damn. All right. Do a few more runs here. And I might take I was probably I'm probably gonna do some more streaming later though, although I'm not a hundred percent sure, but uh might take a break and make myself uh some early dinner, late lunch here. Um since I got a low battery, charge it up and I'll probably switch off the uh switch and uh maybe play something else on PC later or maybe on Xbox Game Pass. I'm always bopping around between those two there. But yeah, there's so many different things I've been playing lately. I could easily, I don't know, jump between a bunch of different games. I'm playing a lot of Super Mambo Quest lately. I could try to, I, I kind of want to beat that game, but it's been losing just a little bit of steam for me. Um, it's still, it's really great, but it's just like, um, like now that I have more power-ups, it's like, uh, it's just been a little more tedious to like play the game and sw switch through all the power-ups all the time. Um, not that you have to, but there, you know, there's cert. I, I guess you do have to in some sections. Oh. Oh, minigun. Not the regular machine gun. So yeah, this thing can give you some hang time. And has some serious pushback or knockback or whatever. Oh. Give me the coins. More frequent heart drops? They drop them pretty frequently, so... I feel like that's not the top priority here. Right there again, there were no bullets in the beginning. So maybe, maybe it's something to do with, like, at the very start of a level. Right there, no bullets, see? No bullets, no bullets. I'll take it though. 
raining them down. Getting your ass kicked on Total War. I've actually never played a Total War game either. I've always, I was really intrigued by... Oh, man, I don't know which one it was. Um, I was going to say the Sega one, but I think they're all put out by Sega, or at least these days. But it was like the, the Shogun one, I think. It came out like years and years ago when I was working at Best Buy. And I definitely didn't have a PC capable of running it at the time. But it was like one of the first games I remember thinking, like, I wish I had a PC for games. Um... Oh, but you're playing Total War Warhammer. Nice. John, uh, one of the guys on the podcast, plays, uh, like, actual Warhammer with the little figurines, uh, Warhammer 40K. Not a ton, but he uh, collects and, like, paints them, and then him and our buddy Mikey get together and uh, play from time to time. Definitely an intriguing game. Like, I wish I could get into that stuff, but I just don't have the patience. Um, but I enjoy hanging out when they're playing. Especially when they're just like arguing with one another about what the what the rules are. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I, I would rather play it in in reality. I'd rather play it in like video game form. I don't know if I don't know how much Total War is like kind of a video game version of it, but um, or if it's you know kind of a because I'm I'm guessing it's got a lot of Total War DNA um, as well. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, this flamethrower is not half bad. I really got to use that dash. And then as soon as I say I like the flamethrower, I give it up. For health that I didn't really need. <clears throat> Level up, what do we got? Nimble. Faster fire rate. I don't mind. Don't mind if I do. Especially since this thing's got some... Pretty slow reload. It's essentially like a boomerang. Oh, yeah. I guess I could just jump on these chainsaw things. I really would just assume that that would not be the case, but... Seems to... Not really be a huge issue to just... Land right on them. Nice. Shit. Okay, that's the first time I've seen that thing in action. Yeah, baby. Give me the heart. 40k and Total War have zero similarities <laughs> other than the art and the name. Good to know. Good to know. Do you play any uh, 40k as well? or I'm more like just into the figurines, to be honest. Like I collected like some hero clicks for a while when my cousins played. Uh, but although I, I thought the concept, like we just really never played that much, but I thought the concept of the game was pretty cool because uh, we all used to play like uh, my cousins and I would get together and play uh, Magic: The Gathering pretty uh, pretty often. My one cousin Matt was super into it, um, and whenever he was around, we would usually bust it out for at least a good handful of years there. Um, but the hero clicks, we kind of just, like, felt like we collected and never really, like, played. <laughs> but I really liked the, like, format, and I was just always a sucker for, like, comics and stuff, so it was up my alley. Oh, new zone! Back to the lab again. Uh-oh. I don't know why I always remember that song from a commercial for Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, shit. We got some snipers. Oh, shit. Oh, that was quick. Song of Ice and Fire minis. More of a Euroboard gamer. Anything you've been playing uh, as of late? I'm trying to like. I'm trying to think like what. When, I never know exactly what uh, qualifies as a Euroboard game. Is it stuff like Agricola and stuff like that? Um, 
I definitely had a pretty big board gaming phase with a group of my friends, my one buddy uh, who's on the podcast as well, although not super often these days, but uh, DJ would always bring around his like duffel bag full of uh, board games whenever we would all get together and hang out. But it was more stuff like Dominion. No damage from the laser. Oh, laser on boots. A little downwell action. Let's go. Never going to say no to downwell. Definitely the right choice. Tank is definitely my character, too. Shit. Oh, shit. Sit down, punk. New weapon. What do we got? Back to the machine gun. Agricola is a classic Euro game. Okay, cool. I'm not totally off base, then. Max 3 HP. I'm trying to think of some other ones we used to play. I know we played. We used to play quite a few different ones. I mean, the, obviously, Catan would come out every now and again. Um, just nice and quick and easy to get into that one. I feel um, like it's uh, and that you never need like oh let me refresh all the rules. Like it just takes like a quick second if you've played it before to like. Even if it's been a long time, you're like, okay, yeah, I remember how to play this game. Um, where some board games are like, okay, and I, I want to say some Euro games are definitely like, oh shit, what the hell do I do in this game again? Um, like, you always got to, like, bust out of YouTube. You really got to be introduced to those games by the right person, because if you, if you have the wrong experience the first time, there's a good chance you're probably not going to try playing it again. Um, Hansa Tunica? Just got a reprint finally. Been out of print since 2009. I don't think I've heard of that one. I'll definitely have to check that one out. And I'll definitely have to ask my buddy DJ if he knows that one. Um, I know I pronounced that horribly, by the way. <laughs> or at least I'm quite sure I did. Um, yeah, I really like the claw weapon because you, you tend to be right in the enemy's face. So you're getting all the gems right away. Some of the, like, especially, like, the bombs and stuff. I feel like there's, oh, well, so much for the claw. More upgrade options? Nah. No big need for that. I really love this zone. Both, not only the palette, but like just the overall aesthetic too. Just like the pipes and the ooze. There we go, ultimate. Oh yeah, ah shit. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this weapon. That's for damn sure. It's not terrible, but definitely not great. Fuck off. <laughs> Hilarious pronunciation. <coughs> Hansa Tunica. Tutanica. Doing my best. <laughs> it's okay. I'll do. I'm gonna do one more run here. Whatever happens, happens. Try to crack that top thirty. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Oh, I got this. Oh no, the laser. Okay, I thought it was that uh, weapon I was just bitching about. Not a big fan of this one either, though. It's gotta be too accurate. There we go. New weapon. Perfect. Definitely not what I thought this one was by the image. 
Ah. Too many gems on the table. Laser on jump. Explode when taking damage. That might be worth it for the gems. Titanica? Yeah, that, that sounds much smoother. Oh, okay. Those gems come in from far away when you're not firing. Like, pretty much the whole screen. Okay. Well worth it. Uh, get the health and take damage, apparently, right away. And get a shittier weapon. Fuck this, man. I was full health already. I guess you can make a little better use out of this thing by running around. There we go. Yes. Zap them up. Level up. Hmm. Let's go heart rate. Still nowhere near using my uh, abilities enough. Like dashing and whatnot. There we go, a little stop and go. Don't mind if I do, don't mind if I don't. See you later. <laughs> proves you can't spell pronunciations. I'm also it's it's also I'm like half trying to like read it really quick and keep playing the game. So I'm like, okay, I think I saw it right. Um but I very well could have uh, misread it at a quick glance. Oh shit. Yes. Oh give oh I don't need the help. What weapon? Regular machine gun? Got it covered. Pepper spray. Let's go. New weapon, maybe? Nope. See ya. Ah. Oh, damn, that does some damage. Oh, come on! Right there. Come on. Uh, one more. One more run. So close. To a new high score. I don't know, like, other otherwise what... I don't think there's any kind of end goal. I would assume anything like this would just even loot, potentially. Oh, give me the claw. Claw is sick. This thing's grown on me, because you can really kite those enemies. Okay, that definitely does damage to me when I hit an enemy that's up close. Reduces... Minigun. Ultimate. Oh, nice. I'm back to full health. Basically fucking fly with this minigun. Oh, here we go. Back to the... 
wave gun. You can yeah, you kind of just have to roll with whatever weapons get dropped. Not necessarily, but oh, fuck off. There we go. Okay. Still got the wave, yeah. I think the lasers don't, like, even when you, s just because they're visible doesn't mean that they're doing damage at that given moment. Like, I think you do have to, like, wait until they're, like, thick is, like, when they're, you know, in, like, total laser mode is when they're doing full damage. tell me that I should stop there, but can't do it. One more. Always the sign of a great game when you're like, one more run, one more run, one more try. There we go. My least favorite weapon in the game. Although this one doesn't seem to hurt me on the explosions. Maybe it does. I can't tell. Color scheme milk. Yeah, I gotta see what that, uh... Unlocks. I don't know if I was paying attention on the main screen. Fuck. Yeah, let's see. So that's just telling me. That's just telling me what I need to do there. Um, let's see. Video color scheme auto. There you go. So we got a bunch. Some milk. Ah. Not what I would expect. Got some nice ones here. Oh, I like mint. I like sea foam. Again, kind of not the colors I would necessarily expect for these pus works. That's <laughs> just gross. Um, pixel perfect. Hmm. I don't know what that difference is. But, anyways. I think I'm going to leave it there for the uh, stream for the time being. But, yeah, nice hanging out, Bobby Dodge. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, I'm glad you're able to catch one live here. And, yeah, I'm uh, hoping to do more of these more often. So, uh, although I've been doing a decent amount of them these days. So, yeah, I'm hoping to keep it up, I guess I should say. Because I, I, for a long time, I kind of stopped doing the live stream stuff. Uh, but, yeah, I'm maybe going to even jump on later today. But if not, um, hope you have a good rest of the Sunday and everything. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's about all. Uh, I'm going to make myself some lunch and take off and yeah, take care and thanks again for hanging and take care everybody.